Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Cryptic here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best class setup to be running whilst playing the new game mode, Shoot House 24-7. And after I show you guys the class, I'm going to be playing a game on the game mode with that class setup, showing you how I play with it and how good this setup actually is. It's fucking badass. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video, because I'm not going to long this out. All right, see you in a sec. Right guys, so this is the completed version of the class right here and I was going to go, I was going to refresh it all and go through it all with you one by one but uh, I feel like that's just going to take longer so I'm going to be showing you this class right here. So for the primary weapon we're going to be using the M4A1, this has recently just been patched because how overpowered it was but it, this gun is just still insane, it doesn't even feel like it's been patched, <laughs> it just doesn't. Uh, and then for the attachments, there's uh, three attachments that are crucial for this setup. The other two, you, it's kind of up to you really. So the three, the three attachments you guys should be using on this gun is for the rear grip is the stippled grip tape. This improves the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed. What we're looking at on this gun is the mobility. We're just trying to work on the things to increase the mobility because it is a very close quarter map and you're going to be running from A to B in a very short amount of time. For the perk, we're using sleight of hand. Um, this is very crucial because obviously it improves the reload speed by a shit ton. Uh, with this, uh, obviously, you're going to be running into enemies all the time on this map because it is very, very small. So you're going to need to reload your gun constantly and run into other enemies and make sure you have bullets ready to fire them. For the stock, we're going to be using no stock attachment. This increases the mobility by the most. Look how much that increases that mobility by. When I take it off, watch it go below the fire rate. So that is it off. Look at in the bottom left hand corner, it goes, look how much that has gone down. And then when I put it on, it goes well in front of the fire rate. That This is the most crucial attachment to be using. This increases the movement speed by a shit ton and the hang down sight speed by a shit ton. Uh, the other two attachments that I use is for the under barrel, I use commando full grip and the flash guard for the muzzle. You could be running anything else. I. You could be running an optic and then, I don't know, a barrel. Uh, but I don't really run optics on this class setup because I like the iron sight on this and it's very close quarters, so you don't really need to get a zoomed in optic for it. Uh, for the secondary, simple and straight, just uh, the combat knife. This, obviously, you run the fastest whilst in tactical sprint mode on this game when you have a combat knife out. It's very good for the beginning of the games. As soon as you start, you just literally get that tactical run out and with that tactical knife, with that combat knife, you can get to the opposite side of the map very very quickly and you can get a nice like three to four feeds straight away as soon as the game starts uh perks i use scavenger because you are cut you're running if you're on a kill streak on this map you're gonna be running out of ammo very very quick so scavenger is very good and you're gonna be running over your enemies bodies a lot when you kill them because it's a very 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 small map so scavenger is what i use to resupply so i never run out of ammo um Everyone knows perk 2, the most OP one is Ghost. If you're not running Ghost and you're playing Call of Duty out there, you're just a massive fuckwid. I'm sorry, you just fucking are. Uh, Ghost is the only brilliant one on this, um, on the perk 2. Uh, perk 3, I used either 2, it's either Shrapnel or Battle Hardened. Or Battle Hardened. Um, so I am think Battle Hardened is a little bit better than Shrapnel because it reduces the strength of enemy flash, stuns and EMP effects. That is very crucial for this one because they are constantly, there is flashes and stuns being thrown left, right and centre on this game mode. So, and as soon as you get stunned, they run, jump that corner and they just spray at you straight away and you just can't see a goddamn thing or you take about three years to turn at them and shoot them. So Battle Hardened is the perk three you should be using. Um, then for the lethal Molotovs, because there are very this this map has got three corridors and there's very very tiny spaces to be going into the corridors. If you throw a Molotov down and the fire spreads in that tiny little gap that people should be running through, they can't get through it because they're just going to be getting lit up by the fire on the floor. Um, and then for the for the tactical, I'm going to be using Stim because obviously you're going to be running it when you you're a lot of one on ones on this, a lot of drop shot and a lot of one on ones in this map. So when you win the one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to be bloody as fuck. So obviously they're going to get some shots on these. 
and you're gonna run into someone else within a matter of seconds and if you're fucking if you're damaged and like, I don't know you're a one shot they're just gonna fuck you up in they? so stim is very very good and you can actually you can hit fire whilst injecting a stim into you so that's very good whilst um whilst shooting other uh, shooting other enemies <laughs> uh that is it really this is pro this i'm telling you now this is the best class setup on cod for short ranged maps i'm not gonna lie if you, you guys run this it's fucking insane so um i'm gonna go into a game with it now and i'm gonna be showing you how i do with it i fuck shit up with this so long story short let's get into it all oh, right let's go all oh, right it's team deathmatch no way i'll be dropping 30 in team deathmatch goes up to 75 doesn't it i'll try i'll try i'll try my best oh team deathmatch Nice camera, little smiley face. Clear to prosecute all targets. What a tub out. Whoa, where did he come from? What was that? He charged you me. <laughs> He's full of it. Oh my god, that guy that's terrible. Oh my. We're playing against bots. I'll tell you what, if we lose this. Their only kill has been me. I was a madman. Just disappeared. Oh hello. Oh my god, these are bots. And as I say that, I don't. They're running around with shotguns and rocket launchers. That's all I've seen so far. Ooh. But I get killed. Someone's on a veto already. Right, shotguns, rocket launchers and claymores. That's what they're running about with. This game... Modern Warfare needs to sort his shit out of that stuff. Oh my god. Now I'm playing fucking dreadful. Someone's on. Cool, he's on 17. Like, I never get fucking... Oh, look, it's always from behind. I never get a 1v1. Like, fucking hell. Like that. It's all about the gun skill on them ones. Stop me power rounds. Let's go. Now we're talking. Hello, sunshine. Enemy in the junkyard. 
Hello, sunshine. Oh my, oh my, reload, too many of them. Wow, wow, and wow. Ooh. He had a shotgun, see that? This gives him 27. Well, I mean, he has called in his kill streaks. Look, what the fuck? This is the most fuck bobbiest game I've ever played in my life. See that claymore right there? It's insane. Another claymore! Scrubbiest, the most bobbiest game I have ever played. Look, rocket launchers, 725s, and claymores. That's just fucking yuck. Oh. Right, I hit 19 though. He hit the 30 bomb though. <clears throat> right, so thank you very much, guys. That was the gameplay, and that was me running that class. Trust me, it's fucking insane, that class. I'm going to start running it on GBs. That set up, I think I'm going to be doing well on that. Uh, but So if you like the video, please like and subscribe if you are new here. Um, and I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.